Yeah, but I mean, just because you have control of the stream, you can't mute Rob. I don't care what he said. Unmute him, Charlie. It's not fair. He's 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 a pivotal part of the stream. Give him his volume back. Give the man a voice. You told me yourself some people should be on be on timeout. So I'm doing what you said to do. And now you're telling me that he needs a voice. All right, can you hear me now? How you doing, Rob? Can you hear me? Zach's now on timeout. <laughs> we can barely hear you, Rob. Your vo your volume's a little low, but yes. Yeah, the, the volume is on the low side. All right. All right, how's that? Is that better? No. no. Not much. Really? No, right, and there, there's an echo thing going on. I don't have the other... I don't have it open in dual places. So I don't hear it when you're talking, but when I say something, I can hear it. All right. Hey, it shows that I'm. Yeah, it only gives me. It only gives me one. Let me play this. Hold on, really hold on, Rob. Let me try this. Oh wait a minute. Here, Talk now, Rob. Hold on. All right. How about now? No, you sound good. Oh, Zach, say something. I was I was trying to change Rob's mic volume, but somebody went behind me and changed it again. I, I didn't change it up, and then you changed it. How the fuck are you controlling my microphone? Because I'm a moderator on the stream. See, look, I can go to, I can go down to the bottom and edit mic centers. <laughs> You're in trouble, Mister. He has access to you. <laughs> I'll turn on echo echo. Is it off now? Yeah, no, I turned on his echo cancellation. Perfect. Say something, Rob. Hello. I'm not fucking happy. There he goes. <laughs> there you sound great. <laughs> and he's pissed off, so it's real yeah. well. <laughs> we are in a good time tonight, folks. All, all is well. This isn't good. I don't like having Zach in my computer. <laughs> I'm going to play this real quick, okay? Give me one second. All right. That's for our buddy Yamil and his wife Leilani. They hooked us up with some goody prizes for tonight, guys. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't Look worry, everybody in chat. Be happy, Rob. Don't worry. Be there you happy. go. Hi, Mona. How you doing, Mrs. Kendu? Hello, Mona. Hello, Miss Amanda. Uh, gotta set this up quick. All right, I'm ready for the eclipse. <laughs> are you? You are. Yeah. Look at this guy. He is. Well, he's he's right. It is total blackness right there. Mark wow. C just sent you a ten dollars super sticker. <laughs> That's crazy. Right on, Mark. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> he's the first one. Wait, he that is? was supposed to be. Wait, that was supposed to be for me. Well, you are late to the party, sir. Wow, Mark, thank you so much, buddy. Stay late and a dollar short every day. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Shannon. Good uh, say hello to some hi, everybody here. Who do we got up here? We got a lot of people here already. Charlie, Charlie's making excuses before they're making getting getting the alibi before the <laughs> start. Wow, Charlie, what is that? Rob, I'm with you, Rob. This guy's got too much control. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. You see, Rob, now here's the scary part, too. I still have admin on your stream. Oh. On my Sunday stream? Yeah. Good, That's good. Okay, yeah. He said sometimes somebody needs to be in control. That's yeah, how I got in there the other day. I'm still in Sometimes we need to be supervised there, too, so. <laughs> Nash Landing. Well, then, you very well, much. Then, yes. drive back from the campgrounds in Orlando, I had lost total control of the stream that day, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun time. Keegan, Gregory, John the Wrench. What's up, brother? Mm, good times. Is Wrench in here? Hello, Wrench. Yep. Denise, Denise, says, here. Denise says hi, hi everybody. Hi, Thank you very much. Charlie? Yes, sir. Did you see Denise wave? 
Hi, Denise. She's in the kitchen making my breakfast for tomorrow. No, I'm not. I'm making my dessert. Making her dessert, Rob. That's because my, my breakfast is in the oven, Charlie. She's making the uh, she's making the egg muffins. So spoiled. She told me I couldn't eat any of the bacon tonight because she needed it for the for the egg muffins tomorrow. <laughs> Tin Man, how's it going? Bill Moon, the old payload. There's Dan. Evening, real Morning, deal. What's up, brother? Hello, Miss Tanya. Real deal magnet fishing. What's happening? How you doing, George? Hi, Tanya. The lucky James Eller. How you doing, sir? Wow, this speaker sounds so much better than the cheap speaker from this from this. Uh, as much as I love this screen, it really had a cheap speaker for a gaming speak for a gaming uh, monitor. Neil, this one I bought a a new new um, high def uh, speaker. Nice. Is that like a sound bar thing? Built in dual 3W, 3 watt high, ma high magnetic drivers for full range audio, enhanced bass with passive radiator, plug and play, easy to use, compatible. Look, it was even compatible with Windows 8 back in the old days. <laughs> Scott McClory puts. Yeah, I'm here just to it so I can win duck races and then not claim the prizes each time. Mugs, pinpointers, whatever. <laughs> you know, Charlie, I saw him, I saw him on another stream and I, he goes, Rob. You don't even have to tell me. You cannot believe how many people have contacted me and told me all the prizes I didn't win last week. <laughs> well, thank you, Scott. Hey, Randy, how you doing? Are they are they, are they, are they reaching out of, out of an abundance of care? They just want to hear the reaction when, hey, you know, you missed all the good stuff. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Captain Vic, how's it going? Hi, Wendy, the mystic librarian. Marty V. Hey, Marty. There's Papa Rouse Bilster. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bill. That's a nice comment, Neil. Good to be back with friends. That's that's a nice comment, Neil. It does, it does feel very familiar here on, on Saturday nights, doesn't Good it? Breaky. Hey, Lawrence, how you doing, Papa? Yeah. Why does James not have a wrench? I don't understand that. Captain Vic, evening. If it's any consolation, Charlie, I did make my own coffee tonight. Really? And if Denise was here and hadn't just walked out to go check on the neighbor's dog she's watching, she'd go, ooh. Now, There's by making your own coffee, coffee, did you put grounds in the pot and add water, or did you walk over to the pre-made pot and fill your cup? There no, you I, go. That's, that's I your question. I had to do both. Right. And, uh, oh, not like not like I'm grinding my own grinds or anything there, Zach. So no, I'm sure you make her do that before she can leave the house. I'm editing my video this okay. afternoon. She comes in, she goes, you know, the weather's perfect. It would be really a nice day today to clean the garage. Joe, what's up, brother? Joe, the bad deal. Yeah, uh, I, I don't look forward to cleaning the garage any day. What's up, Nash? There's your meal, Charlie. There's your meal. How you doing, your meal? Thank you for the little bit of uh, the, the the nice bit of swag you're giving away tonight. That's going to be neat. Charlie, Charlie, my, may I make an announcement on your stream since you just you said can that? Do whatever you want, sir. Well, you don't want you don't want that. Um, my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I had to, Rob. <laughs> I mean, I was, Zach, Charlie, Zach, I, was stop it. I was still talking. I didn't even realize my picture was. <laughs> oh, we know. We're sure of that. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, th I think what Charlie was demonstrating was the, was the new Tesla exhaust where it can be seen but not heard. <laughs> Charlie, I just highlighted. Look over on your comments. I just highlighted it. Highlighted what? what? Hi, Georgianne. Oh, hello. Hello. You don't see the. Uh, oh, he's got a storm section. Twenty dollars from Martin Smythe. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Thank you, you Martin. Didn't... I'm I'm way up in the chat. JP, 
Yeah, yeah but it's above it's above the chat, Charlie. It should show up on your screen at all times. On the stream yard side? Yeah. yeah, look above your chat. It shows you that. And then you also have the star at three. It shows you who all It should look, look like that, Charlie. So it should stay there all the time. No, I don't see that at all. Really? Well, it's there. Mine's, mine shows it. Hello, Jay, don't play. Mine says that oh. star at three. Oh, there it is. He wow, was on the, thank you guys. Thank you, now. He's on the YouTube he's side, uh, Zach. Mark? He's watching this on YouTube. But now I can't see the chat. Well, you can't click on them both. Confused. Go back and click live again. Okay. We got a new new face in chat tonight. Jay, don't play. Hello, Jay. Hey, Jay. Mr. Shannon Dalton. Guido. There's Pat Paul. Good evening, Lawrence. Dirt Devil Detecting. Good evening, Beth. Good evening, Miss Beth. Being a prospecting charts. We got it. We'll set up that array here pretty soon. The asylum. What's going Good evening, on? Mr. George Ann Rose. Good evening, Mr. George Ann. Mr. Pat Paul, let me know he got his pay dirt in. Hopefully, he has a little bit of fun with that. Send him one for my Culver prospect. It makes a real good bag. There's Tom Kenyon. Oh, so Gregory Gibson. You sent that to Pat Paul? Yeah. Sweet. Scott Sharps, uh, just so you guys know, on my end, the rest of the prize, the, the Xterra came in, the Diggers came in, uh, the Pin Corners came in, uh, Yamil and his wife were on vacation, but uh, we, went, we went ahead and did the uh, giveaway, and so all that stuff, he, he got that stuff to me super fast, so it, it all landed uh, oh, yeah. yesterday, so I will be hitting up the UPS Monday and getting everything out to everybody, so congratulations again. Hello, KCMD. And, and on that thing, uh, I got my box of uh, goodies in from uh, Detector Warehouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, so some people that I owe prizes to from them, those will be going out Monday, too. Awesome. Mr. Jim Steele. Dennis, what's up, brother? Good evening, Dennis. There's Olin Borden. Good evening, Olin. Hello. Greg, hey, you diver 79. Nice. How you doing, my friend? Hi, Tanya. Uh-oh. We lost the accent. Rob's pissed off in stereo. Oh. Hey, Greg. Hey. Hey, driver. Evening, Moon. Don, PA Relic Hunter. How you doing, my friend? Howdy, Don. And Mr. Randy Randy's here. Relic Reaper, what's up, brother? Good evening, Mr. Detecting with Randy. Guido. Mm-hmm. Mr. Tom Kingery, he got his prize sent out. Do you see what Scott McCoy wrote? National News said tonight that 80% of the people in the path of the eclipse won't see shit because of the cloud cover. They're really worried about that. And people, they've made this into a big travel tourism thing where people have paid to go to certain spots in the country that supposedly have an advantage to see this. They've paid for these trips to see this eclipse. And now, like Scott says, there's a good chance they're going to miss it due to uh, cloud cover. That would suck. Jeremy, what's up? Digging up the Carolinas? Dee, do you want Sadie out there? Frank the Luterate. What's happening, my friend? Hey, Frank. Charlie, hey, there's another one. Nash Landings. Yep. Nash hooked me up. You guys are awesome. That was That's pretty neat. I really appreciate it, and I will be definitely using that money for shipping. Hi, Grandma K. Good deal, uh, Olin. Hi, Tanya. Hello, Grandma Kay. There's uh, Kathy Kay. James. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, Jim Hey, Hey. RH is in the house. Scott How Short, you doing, Jane? There's Mr. Jeremy. Mm hmm. Picking up the Carolinas. Mr. Bill Brasky. How you doing, my friend? Hey, Bill. 
No, imagine yeah, that. Grandma you know, hey. in her car driving. Imagine that. You would never think that. I think that woman drives more than I do. Yes. It's very busy. Hi, Leanne. There you go, Lucky James Eller. Good evening. Greg, Scorpion Metals. What's happening, brother? Yamil is, uh, Rodriguez is saying hello, everybody. Yamil is the owner of Digging It Detectors. That is giving away some goodies tonight. Uh, Shane, my mic does sound different. Denise bought a... Uh, Hooked him up. Stereo soundbar for the new computer. I think I just cut to the part where I cut you off. Jamie, the Metal Sharks. How you doing, Jamie? But it's great being able to see Shane here tonight because we're on Charlie's stream. Yep. Are you able to see Shane on your end? Yes. Oh, that's yes, awesome. Look, I, can, I can highlight him and everything because wow, Charlie. Wow, look. He's not a ghost no more, huh? No. It's because we're it's cause we're doing this stream through your channel. Ah. It was, Scott. <laughs> Hey, Bert. Good evening. Awesome. Chilling Girl Adventures with Dan B. Got the rock tumbling and I'm using it already. It is Hi, awesome. Dan B. Charlie, Buddy Biggs did a short with your coin scope and threw you yeah. a serious, well, he threw both of us a serious shout out. Yeah, but he that did. Coin scope, that coin scope looked, I mean, he could zoom in on that coin. I, it was just incredible. It was a great coin scope, Charlie. It was a nice little, nice well, little I video. Think we'll, we'll have to give one of those away tonight. And you better Scorpion get on that race. Good evening, Scorpion Metals. Yep, Greg's here. I'm looking 64 up. people in the room already. We've been live 15 minutes. That is awesome. And thank you guys so much for the super chat. I, I was going back and forth with that, but you know, that's that would help with shipping and some stuff. So that that is awesome. And you guys definitely know that that stuff is going straight back to. You guys in chat. There's Mr. Vernon coming out swinging. Good evening, Vernon. Vernon, my brother. Vernon Crawford. She's on her phone. She says just a big hello to everybody. There is Mr. J-Man Metal Sharks. Mm -hmm. Good evening, J-Man. Welcome and, and thanks for joining us this evening. He's uh, he's almost as busy as Chris Show Me Treasure. That's right. And speaking of Chris, there he is. Hey, Chris, how you doing, brother? Exhaust by Bose. There you go, Shannon. Jay, don't play. Good evening. Yeah, that's what oh, Jay. Can you... Oh my God! Now we have to live up to being hilarious. I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, hey, detective with Jim. How you doing, bud? Jay, don't play. Leave uh, a comment again so I can hook you up with the wrench, buddy. Mrs. Candu, we broke up a cement slab today to put in a new flower bed going in soon. Well, I'll take flower beds over cement anytime. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Mr. Randy being, you're the man, Randy. Welcome, Jay. Don't play. Yep. I'm trying to figure out the Oklahoma Historical Society application. Well, that sounds fun. I'm over at the East Missouri event. No cell service unless I'm at my campground. I'm over here hunting alongside Quarter Horner, Doug, Hot Mess Fishing. And Bells, to name a few. Well, congratulations there, Show Me. Yeah, he texted me earlier this week, Charlie, wanting to know if I was heading up there. And I'm like, I can't get up to Missouri right now. Uh, he looks like he, he killed it. Uh, I'm on the wrong side. There we go. Looks like Chris killed it over there. Uh, he, won a, he got a bunch of stuff. Hi, Paula. Hi, Deb Melvin. There's Mr. Randy, guys, putting up Jay Don't Play's channel. Please go check him out. He's uh, being kind and coming over and joining our crew here tonight. I'm not seeing his comment on the YouTube side for some reason. I saw it earlier. I saw it one time. Who, Jay Don't Play? Yeah, I'm trying to wrench him up. 856, Charlie. Mr. Jim M.D. Melbourne, how you doing? I can't stay long. Good, Thank you, Jim. Of course, you know it's not right that you're in there having a milkshake, Denise. 
Oh, Denise said, cry me a river, Rob. Cry me a river. That's exactly what she freaking said. <laughs> oh, boy. Damn. She says, somebody's got to eat it. There's Miss Dow. Good evening, Miss Dow. Uh, hi, honey. Wow, that was an enthusiastic hello if I ever heard one. Well, I don't know if I'm in trouble or not. You baked them less? Uh -huh. I'm you still not saying Jay. Like Come on, Jay. Say something. There we are. You get past this stupid heart the thing. Uh-oh, we're more done than that. Are you sure the insides are done? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, yeah, they've been in late to 18 and a half minutes, yeah. There you go, oh, Charlie. There you go, Charlie. That's from two. Two? Well, she's got, she's just starting to take them out. She wanted to see how they were. They look good. You're not going to have them now, though, right? No, no, no. no. I, I snuck a piece of bacon when she was outside taking the dog out. Mrs. Kendu says 41 days, guys, until Freedom Fest. Good for you, Shannon. We'll catch you Paul, later, Greg. Paul Abram says only 44 likes and 57 in the chat. Let me check. Uh, let's see here. We actually have... We actually have 57 likes, and I'm hitting the button, so that gives us 58 likes. Nice. Thank you, sir. And thank everybody in chat. Mark C., good evening. There's Mystic. Good evening, Mystic. Hey, he says, Mystic. that like button. There's Lyle Komodo. How are you doing, Lyle? Bill. What Bill put? He's trying to rat Rob out for stealing bacon. <laughs> I don't think Denise watches Charlie's stream. I'm sorry? I don't think Denise watches your stream. No. Lance if says he got his did, he'd out. be in a lot of trouble. Often. Not like that you didn't watch. Yeah, Dennis, I don't know why people are freaking out about this eclipse. Wow, Don says, I was in Indianapolis, and they told me the raceway is sold out, including the infield for the eclipse. Wow, that's making money for, for a super raceway that's not being used for racing. Wow. That is something. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? It's going right over them. Yes, I can put them in the fridge. There you go. There it goes. I know a few people headed to Niagara Falls, Buffalo, New York, for this eclipse. To me, I ask one question. Why? See? George Ann's driving over to Lake Erie for it. Denise has two people from Florida here that went all the way up to Arkansas to go see it. Yeah, you should be able to see it pretty good, Charlie. I'll be at work. Step outside. Right. Right. Step outside. All, all it's going to do is get a little shady, right? It's going to look a little gray out for a second. When is it supposed to be? It's, uh, the 8th. Was it Monday? Yeah, Monday. We yeah. got beautiful weather. Oh, uh, yeah. Monday? Monday or Tuesday? Oh, I haven't had a moon pie in years, Mark. I'm your muffin man? Yeah. That's what you move by. Muffin man sounds better. Hey, George. Is, is the grandma, the me mom. Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> Shane. I exist. If you took if you took everybody's name off their chats, we would all know that's Jeremy every time. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, Tommy She Devil. There's Miss She Devil. There's She Devil. I always mm -hmm. want to say Miss. It's a he. 
The whole huh? she thing. She devil. Yeah. What about her? What's her name? Tommy. That's what I thought. It was a guy. No. no. It's Tommy a woman. Yes. yes. You guys got me so confused. <laughs> He's so Minardo. <laughs> we're not talking about River Tommy. He is a guy. We're talking about she devil Tommy that's a girl, not not she uh, devil Tommy. I know that's why. And then every time you guys would call her Tommy, I would get so confused. But I was like, I'm not saying because I'm not gonna look like a Bernardo, but here I am looking like a Bernardo. <laughs> hey, Gary, what's, what's up, buddy? Oh, sure. Now that Shane knows I can see him, I exist. What, that's what's right. Out of his mouth? Rob is a true slob. Yep. Yeah. That's right, Pat Paul. I've had mine for two weeks now, and I'm still trying to figure mine out. But I did do a really... I know. I know, Shannon. There's Mr. Jim M.D. Melbourne. No problems with the name there. Nope. Mr. Jim, how you doing, sir? Thank you so Thank much you for hanging out. I love you, both. Understand. I love you a long time. Thank you, mm -hmm. Jim. M.D. Melbourne, that's all we hear about over here, too. Eclipse some politics. Eclipse some politics. No politics. I did want to say to Jim M.D. Melbourne, Jim, I'm going to have a video probably coming out within the next six weeks uh, on a find of mine that Jim helped me a lot identify. Uh, and uh, we used to talk quite a bit, Jim and I. And uh, uh -huh. Jalen Blake is a girl. Siri is not my friend. Siri is not my friend. Um. And Jim helped me identify it, and it turned out that I found um, some World War II trench art, some World War II silver trench art. Uh, and I'd like to thank Jim M.D. Melbourne for helping me identify some of the pieces in it. And I will be doing a video on that probably within the next month or six weeks. Nice. So thank Wallace you, Jim. Family. What's up, Wallace family? Hello, WFA. No, Bill Brasky. I'm not in a different room. I'm just at a different angle. There's the angle you're used to seeing because I used to be on my laptop right there on the little TV tray, and then I would use the old computer, which is right where I'm at here. But the new computer has gotten moved. There is the old computer right there that I still use for some editing. Um, so, yes, I'm in the same room. I'm just facing 45 degrees different angle. And I can do everything now. On one computer, because I can have 16 windows open, and the computer doesn't slow down. So with a 27-inch monitor, I can split screen and still do the duck races and do everything on one computer. It is. I am. I'm putting on my big boy panties, honey. And There's Carrie Holerid. Good evening. Oh, here's Chris saying, I've done a $50 cash token, 13 weeds, 8 IHPs, 5 Mercs, 1 Washed a Quarter, Wow. Day one of the show me treasure hunt. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for those kind words, buddy. Yes. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very much. Actually, Jeremy just sits home and waits for his wife to get all the silver from the channel. And then I don't know what he does with it, but she gets so much. <laughs> Who is this guy? Minardo 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, what, Mike. Is, what is Zaxxon doing? Mike the Greek, yo! You've never big heard the phrase Mike Big Boy Panties? Yeah, big Boy like Panties? <laughs> Ron E, what's up, Ron? There you go, Dennis. I had a 3,000 watt inverter to my van today, getting a little more use out of my solar. Way to go, Dennis, because I would have no idea how to do that. I, I, will, say, I will say that Tommy River Sticks was the man that knew how to do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Even George Robinson. Oh, Chris yeah, well, says, I'm not in the path of the eclipse. Shot, like, march of work if I were you. Say that again, Zach? I would shy away from electrical work if I was Rob. Yes. Things happen quickly. Yeah. And if you don't, Rob, video whatever you're doing. Oh, Absolutely. Video. 
I, I remember doing some electrical work and stuck a screwdriver in my engine on my hot rod once, and I touched something live, and it knocked me back about three feet in the hood. <laughs> and now, if my mother was there, she would have been all concerned and come running over to me. I looked up, and my father was just standing there laughing his ass off. Well, put that again, were you? Yeah, that's right. You learned yourself a lesson there, pal. Chris says, I'm right in the path of the eclipse, and all the hotels and everything are sold out. I'm not staying for the madness. I'm leaving here tomorrow night. Man, I hope the beaches are like that. Or at least the parking lots. Yeah, Brian. Brian's in trouble. He's always in trouble. He's actually in more trouble usually than I am, guys. Yes. Tony, you should come sit down here and co-host with me. Dig in SoCal. What's going on there, Bill? Do what? I need to be doing my mileage log. Oh. Well, you've got your... You got your fortification now. You got your milkshake, so you can go do your mom's work. It is that milkshake for you. It's like coffee for me. I have till Tuesday morning. <laughs> okay. Well, fairy dust. I hope that meant hashtag spoiled, not hashtag soiled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying really hard not to throw my pants here, okay? We, we, still got, we still got a few more years before Rob's there. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's not go on so. any, any sooner than we need to, okay? Hi, Mandy. I thought so, Fairy Dust. <laughs> Did you get out and do any hunting this weekend, Charlie? I uh, went for, uh, we did a, uh, me and my friend did a garage sale today, Brad and I, uh, his wife had a garage sale, so I brought some stuff over. Um, so we, we got that going for a while then we did, we hit the beach for about two hours, maybe if that, but a ton of people on the beach, but nobody in the water, just the kids. Good evening, Tin Man. What is up with people getting married? How are you doing, Mark? Does that mean they have to get divorced or in a lunar eclipse? Yes, it does. I got to try and find Mark. There you go. Jim's got the right idea. The eclipse will be a good time for an afternoon nap. There we go. Yeah, perfect timing. There you are, Mark. Got you. Big and so, Cal. Uh-huh. He, he metal detected six states in two days, Charles, on his way home from Tennessee. Wow. That's so dedication. It was in the snow. He metal detected in the snow for the first time ever. Nope. Not doing it. Hello, Culver. Uh, right on, Joe. You tell Jared we said hello back, sir. That's right, Carrie. Once a Minardo, always a Minardo. Hey, Culver, how's it going? Evening, Ronnie. So, so you didn't actually find anything on the beach? Nah, I didn't. Brad found some bling, and that was about it. All righty. Randy says, go show Jay some support. She has 112 subs. I will be checking her out after. You know what? I can do that right now. Oh, Wallace, I will definitely do that. If um, Maybe you could, if it's all right with you, I got mine uh, on the banner right there, jrdigitaback at gmail.com. Definitely would love to do a sticker swap there. What do you mean? We, we always hear about this great Digging It Back merch that none of us ever seem to see. You, are, you wore the hat. I I have never seen anybody show off a Digging It Back sticker or a Digging It Back notepad or a Digging It Back koozie, all of which you profess to have in, on your show. I do. Look. I know you do. Out. I, it's, if people don't show them off, I can't do nothing about it. Drink the treasure, treasure the drink. Like there's a yeah, koozie. You ordered 25 of them and you still have for me. Huh? Yeah, but you ordered 25 of them, and you still have 24. No, nope, these are limited. Uh, I think Pat only made me like six of these guys. No. How many do you still have in your house? house? Maybe two. 
That's it. Ouch. <laughs> you see what Dan put? <laughs> yeah, I was reading that right now. <laughs> oh, boy. They all left the coins in three rings. You're right on, Bill. Yeah, you over and left you a comment and subbed. All I, all I can say is I'm glad, I'm glad you're in the industry. You are, Charlie, because if you were one of those people that went door to door trying to trying to convert, trying to convert people, you know, you just knock on the door, they go answer the door, no one's there, and they come back in, and you're gonna be sitting on the couch. Why, hello there. <laughs> Have I told you about? So now it's from cars to houses, huh, Zach? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You said you're not, not doing very good at the beach anymore. Oh my gosh. Speaking of breaking that breaking into houses, I watched that uh, I watched that comedy action flick Nobody the other night. Honey, there's, really? there's, clips, there's clips on YouTube about the guy that beats up those five or six guys on the bus and gets the crap beat out of himself. Uh, yeah. it's, it's got Bob. I, I can't remember how you pronounce it. Bob Odendesk or Odensek. Anyway, you guys get a chance to watch that. It is freaking. It is a great action flick. It is freaking hilarious. Oh, Rob. Did you ever watch the Ballard of Busted Scrubs? Scrubs, so I could so I could prove you wrong yet. The the one with uh, it's like a three part movie. Yeah, it's a three part, three four part movie. That third, that third part with the guy with no arms and no legs or whatever, I found that the most depressing little thirty or twenty minute movie I'd ever seen. I seriously, I I, I turned it off because Zach, I got so depressed watching that movie. It wasn't even funny. Yeah, that was that was pretty the good. Whole, the whole first funny part, the western. Was freaking hilarious, and it's the shortest part, Mr. Phil Leo. I have no idea what they're right. talking about. Jeremy says we can see the kitties on the dining table because the dog's here, so we have the kitty food on the table because the dog would eat it all. Pap all loved that movie. Yeah, the Buster Scruggs part. They put three movies under the heading of Buster Scruggs, but that was only one third of the of the trilogy, and. The other, the other, it was just weird. Yeah. I, 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 is this a comedy? The first one was, and then the third one was a drama, and the drama was just, it, it was depressing. I'm no, not even. Weird. Going That's to, your inch. I even I'll tell you it's a little weird, and coming from me, that means you know it was a little different. Shannon says we have friends from Georgia coming up to see the four minutes of the eclipse. I. I, that's just. Hello, grumpy feller. Hey, Phil. I've never even heard of this thing. Odenkirk. Yes, there you go. I watched that clip last night. Oh, oh it's a great. The you got to just click on, just click on nobody busting, Charlie, and and it is a great fight scene. Nobody busting. Bus scene. Where he's on a public bus. Okay. Torchy, Ooh, thank you so it. much. Thank you, Torchy. The grumpy feller. How you doing there, sir? Yeah, Jeremy, if that would have been a 1916B, you'd be uh you'd be uh you'd be with some nice steak for a while. Even Torchy. Congratulations, Jim. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, Melbourne. Oh, I like that. I like that rule, Jim. I do. Honey, their 40th anniversary is coming up. I guess I'll be buying my wife a new ring to celebrate. And she's buying me a new, de new detector as we normally do every fifth anniversary. So, honey, you can take any ring you'd like over there out of the cabinet, and then you can buy me a new detector. There you go. Honey, look at the time step at 923. <laughs> <laughs> she went, and he's like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, three rings is definitely great. Yeah, Troy invited me out today, and he only found 12 Wheaties and a uh, 41 Silver GW. Awesome, Wallace. We'll do this thing. Silver Wrench, good evening. Yep, the Silver Wrench. Right here. Hey, um, Zach, could you post up JP for us? Yeah. And I could pin it. Yeah, uh, Charlie Don says Rella Reaper says the parking lot's gonna be really packed on Monday that you could hit. That's what Zach was saying. 
and they'll be in the clip. They'll be watching the eclipse, Charlie. So Jackson, Jackson is now saying I'm moving on to houses. Well, you watch, you watch, uh, you watch this movie. Nobody, you'll never burglarize a house. Look what Delores, look what my wife put. Sorry, oh, sorry, Charlie. I took it off. Go ahead. Tell your wife. I <laughs> Oh boy! All right, guys. Joe is at five ninety six. There's got to be four of us over here that aren't surprised. Yeah. Joe, so let's get over there and push him over six hundred. JP Longs is at forty four likes right now. Okay, forty four on the likes. Let me pin the bad boy. Oh my God, Zach! Even Charlie's wife's diamond him out. You know All if right. if this many people are confirming the Spartan Rob. It's al it's almost as though uh, uh, facts are are being noted here. I'm glad you went there. I thought you were going somewhere else with that, and I thought you were going to get in a lot of trouble. Me? No. I'm, I'm the glue that tries to keep this thing normal and sane and together. Oh yeah, Charlie. He's the glue that holds us together, Charlie. Uh, yeah, doesn't cause any issues at all. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's as pure as snow, even though he doesn't <laughs> breathe in snow. <laughs> Everybody wants to bring up snow. That stuff is not real. No. Uh oh, Silver Wrench had an earthquake in Jersey on Friday. Yeah, there was. You, pretty you big really, Charlie, you really do live under a rock, don't you? He does. I didn't even know they had earthquakes over there. That's why it's been such a big deal, Charlie. It's made national news. They had a 4.8 earthquake in New Jersey. That 4. you could feel all of That's 4. nothing. 8. It is for the East Coast. That that's a that's. I mean, it's small earthquake wise, but it was big enough that people felt it, and you could actually feel it over in New York City. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> well, I guess if you're not used to, uh, yeah, I, I can see where that would be a thing. I'm not okay. trying to knock it down. I don't even know. I don't notice a four point eight. I, when I lived in Cali, it was it was like okay. Oh, Phil Leo, it's just such a great clip. You're still getting there that fake stuff, Culver. You see that? I'm getting sunburned. Culver, uh -huh. Culver is high in Colorado, so he. They're still cold. Oh, Mark said uh, that his house, Silver Ranch, my house shook like crazy. Foundation is mostly set. How long did it last? Like 35, 40 seconds. It lasted quite a bit. Oh, that's a good one. And then like eight hours later, there was a 3-0 uh, aftershock. And this was all Friday, yesterday, huh? Yeah, it's been all over the nightly news. It's been all over Yahoo. It's been all over, yeah, everything. Dan says, I didn't feel anything with that earthquake. There you go. Here's our first dad joke of the night from Jay. How does the sun cut his hair? He eclipses. eclipses. <laughs> Absolutely, Jim. 40 years. Wow, that's something, brother. Beth goes, we're going absolutely nowhere for the eclipse. Maybe outside. Maybe that's going to be about it. Yeah. Oh, my God, Bill. Jim, how many dollars did it take in the claw machine to get that ring? Damn. <laughs> JP, we're heading to Raid your way, bud. Uh, what would you say they were at, Zach? They were at 44 when I stopped by. Okay. Uh, let me. I think you can. Silver Ring says he was on a ladder when the when the earthquake hit. That'll make it a little more interesting. Oh yeah, for sure. Thank you, Randy. Telling telling uh, Jay don't play that we do this tomorrow morning at nine a.m. Yeah. Back together. It's a slightly slightly less cursing. Wow. Yeah, Mark felt it. All right, Jay. I think it was a 4.8, Mona. I don't think it was a 5.8. 5.8. Only <laughs> Parton's underwater snapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
boy. Oh, boy. felt it, too. Wow. All right. JB is at 57. Good evening, Can Do. 57. If we can get – I know this is going to be – I mean, they've been here. Let's see if we can get over there and get them to 70, and we'll throw out that tumbler. Oh, no, the coin scope, right? That's what I, you guys were talking about earlier? Yep. Let's go, Ray JP, guys. Let's get him to that 70. All right, I just gave JP number 59. I just smacked that button. I hit it before you guys even came in the chat. Well, you the man, sir. We're going to get there, bub. We're going to get JP to that 70. Let's do it. 64. Thank you, Real Deal. Says he just sent, went and liked theirs. Awesome. Seventy-two, you guys. Phew, that was easy for you guys. Thank you so much. Holy smokes, that shot right up. Oh, and hello. Benzo Gold in the house. Thomas, 907. What's happening, brother? No, 907. 4.7, 4. 4. 4.8 is nothing. Benzo, what's up, bro? Hook that up real quick. Zed's place. What's going on, Zed? Hello, Zed. Evening, Zed. Thank you again for so much for that donation last week there, Zed. Awesome. Thank you all. Oh, there's Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Is Mary in here? Hello. Uh -oh. She's here for oh, a second. I don't see her hang on, but she's here. Only pans. How's it going? Uh, we must be having the raid come back. To MJ, us. hello. Yeah. Heavy metal. Hey, hello. JP. Grease monkey. Wow, everybody's here. Good evening, guys. Yep. Now. Heavy metal, what's up? It's almost like people people like you, Charlie, even with all the weird stuff you do. <laughs> hey, Terry Grease Monkey. Freedom Fest, bro. DNL Treasures. How's it going, Dave and Lori? Hi, Angie. Oh, JP is going to be live Monday for the for the eclipse. Cool. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, pretty much mystic. Yep. Evening, Thomas nine hundred seven. Good evening, Angie and Rick. It's only sixty mile an hour winds. They're still going. Thank you, Carson. We had we had like 30, 40 mile an hour winds here two days ago, Zach. It was a pretty damn poo blustery day, and then it freaking monsooned all day. So I ran around to eight banks and took back uh, fifteen hundred dollars and halves. That's what Mystic Librarian said when it, you know, the West Coast here, we don't even feel uh, earthquakes. We don't notice them anymore. He says that's just like Florida with anything less than a class uh, category three hurricane. Absolutely, Cass. You're right there, those accents. I know, I mean, growing up in California, you really didn't pay much attention to them. Oh, unless you're. Your house particularly. I, I would imagine a 4.8 out in California, Zach, probably doesn't really cause much of a stir, does it? No. Good evening, uh, Zed. Only pans. Good evening, Heavy Meadow. Mm -hmm. Grease Monkey. DNL Treasures. Yes. I know it's from the bar, but I've wrenched them before. I don't know why it didn't stay. Which one? Hi, Carson. Only pans. Only Hello, pans. I'm sorry, Zach. Only pans is at MJ. She's been here before. Yeah. You know what? Paula just made this comment about the Minardo. Who's on first? What's on second? Uh, we had a trivia question last week in trivia that what comedy duo, due to one of their routines, was admitted into the Baseball Hall of Fame? The Abin Costello who's on first routine is in the Hall of Fame because of what it did for baseball. 
That was Ooh. one of our trivia questions. Wow. That was a bad one. Yeah. So what was the answer, Rob? They, it's 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 Abbott Costello. They they Costello. that who's on first baseball routine got them admitted to the baseball hall of fame in Cooperstown. <clears throat> that was a classic. It is a classic. Hey DNL. I've never watched much of theirs. Oh, uh -huh. if you don't watch anything ever of Abbott Costello, but you watch their I mean you can it's, it's it, there's dozens <laughs> of YouTube videos on it. Watch the uh who's on first routine. Do any of you guys ever watch Whose Line Is It Anyway? The older ones? Yes. Oh, my, my Denise loves that show. Colin Mockery and Ryan Stiles, two of the funniest people on earth. I actually oh, met Wayne Brady once when I was doing security at Disney. He came in, nicest guy in the world. And he actually started his career as a Disney cast member. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, I met, hey, him, at, hey, I met, him, at, uh, I met him at MGM Studios once when I was doing security. And uh, huge, uh, super nice guy. Now, Shannon, they probably wouldn't. Oh, uh, was it uh, Jimmy Kittle, Jimmy Kimmel, or one of the other comedians? Charlie, they, they went out on the street with some teenage kids. They took some 17, 18, and 19-year-olds, and they set up a table on the sidewalk with pencils and pens a book of stamps and envelopes and they asked the kids to correctly address an envelope and not one not one got it right i believe it one of them put the stamp in the lower left corner and then they wrote their grandmother an entire letter on the front of the envelope and then they turned it to the back and then they put their grandmother's address in the corner on the back and their address in the front and that's how they thought they should send not one kid got it right it was it was it was scary, pathetic, and sad all at the same time. Well, it's all about technology now. They just use a computer, email, and text, and that's it. I think there was a thing, a survey done about kids even doing cursive. They don't teach it anymore. Mm -mm. My friends, my friends, uh, Christian private school, they teach it, but in public schools down here, they don't teach cursive anymore. Nope. And then they go, well, how do you write a check? And they go, well, nobody writes checks anymore. And they go, well, how do you sign a contract? You know, I mean, are you going to look like some ignoramus putting an X on a contract? Yeah, yeah, Jay, that's that shit's scary, Jay. Shannon just writes in cursive. To mess with the there you go. <laughs> write a letter to your niece and nephews and let them get it in cursive. Uh, They'll think it's in a foreign language. What kind of hieroglyphic shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's writing Egyptian hieroglyphics here. <laughs> yeah, Brene, those days are all long gone. Wow. I don't know, honey. Don is right. Yeah. And PA says 68% of the kids today can't name the three branches of government. Uh, PA, I bet if Leno did another one of those sidewalk things, they couldn't. Adults, a lot of the adults. Half of them couldn't name the 13 original colonies or, or know that they asked people how many flags were on the, or any stars were on the flag, and most of the people got it wrong. How the hell do you get that wrong? <laughs> Sorry, I get being a history major, American history major, guys. I get fired up about this shit. Scott says my grandson had to learn keyboarding in kindergarten, and my daughter had to buy him a laptop for class. Wow, Captain, yeah, it's just a change. Well, let me tell you something, guys. I took typing in eighth grade, and let me tell you something. I can I can sit here and type like an MFer, and that that eighth grade typing class was one of the best classes I ever took. I was one of the few guys in it, but of course maybe that's why I took it. But anyway, uh, Captain Vic, um, it 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 pays. It it really helps to know how to type. So having learning a keyboard, that kid's going to be way ahead. 
Oh yeah. Robin you know, Hood. there's that Charlie. There's that big movie that was in theaters. I think that's on either Netflix or Amazon now about the contest that they had with kids that were playing uh, NASCAR and Indy racing games on their computers. And they had these real professional setups with, you know, like the car was set up like a cockpit with things. And anyway, they did a movie where where they they went and found their next level, you know, racers from these things. They took the kids out of the race simulator and onto the track for for racing. There's an actual 21 year old black kid that did that. He was so good on the simulators, and he was like national ranked. They gave him a job, and he just won his first NASCAR race. Twenty one year old kid. Are you serious? Yes, they had it on the news last week. He started off doing video games, but when I say video games, Charlie, he has like a a, a one. Oh no, it's a full simulator, right? Full simulator with the pedals, and he's got he's got to adjust the air in his tires and the gears, and he's got to. Sh- it was incredible. <laughs> It looked like a flight simulator for pilots. That's right. Even Dow says Charlie doesn't know anything that's going on because he doesn't watch the news. I don't. Yeah. Maybe we should have really Andy. Maybe we should have Dow start making a checklist for you every day in the morning or out, or when you get home from work that did you know the bridge in Baltimore collapsed? Oh, she well, tells me every morning, you know, what's going on in the world. Whether did I want to hear it or not. Did you know did about you know the Baltimore? bridge in Baltimore? No, did you know? Yeah, did you know about the bridge in Baltimore? What about it? What do you know about a bridge in Baltimore right now? I don't know. You guys going to tell me or what? No, we're not going to tell you. Don't, nobody right, tell right. them. Don't put anything in well, chat. I, mean, I can, I can he guess. Learns how you well, I can guess. Use his tools and figure out what happened to a bridge in Baltimore. I can guess. I mean, there's, it's a bridge, so it either... The terrorists it. bombed it, Charlie. You didn't bombed? know the terrorists bombed the bridge in Baltimore. No. Who? What terrorists? Dude, dude, they blew the bridge sky high. You didn't see the flaming fireball. You're messing on with any me. of your news outlets. You're lying, Zach. No. Scout's honor. The bridge got hit by a ship, buddy. Yeah, you're just, just lucky they're bailing you out. <laughs> it got hit by a 600 foot freighter, Charlie, and it brought down the entire bridge. It's size all over you, too. Size, size of the Golden Gate Bridge, Charlie, is now laying in the bay. They, they're saying all, all the container shifting going into Baltimore will be down for at least a month. See, I believe Zed. There was an earthquake and the bridge fell. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, man, if I would have gone with that, you'd have believed it. I would have. <sighs> I just don't watch. I just don't watch TV. You don't need to watch TV. You just got to read the headlines. And if if my wife told me, I just don't listen. <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> All right, Dow. What you need to do is you need to tell him about your 21 day cruise. And when he doesn't listen, and he comes home, and you're gone, and he calls you, be like, "I'm on my 21 day cruise. I've been planning it for months. Weren't you listening?" <laughs> Make it a Disney crew, cruise. You I can don't take think this all the tonight, when we not get out, if she's not asleep when this thing's over, I'm dead. You're dead she anyway. Amanda doesn't watch TV either. You're right, Amanda. Most people don't watch TV anymore. No. It's too depressing. Sorry, Charlie. Denise doesn't either. I read my news. Charlie, she's yelling from the other room. At least I know what's going on, though. Huh? She she said from the other room, at least I know what's going on, though. Yeah. (laughs) All right, I'll be right back. Uh Uh-oh. Denise is taking a shower. No, she's She's not in the shower. You got up super quick, buddy. She's shocked. Honey, are you in the shower? Darn. I'll wash your back anyway. See, Bernay, there you go. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't get notifications for the news. Better sleep with one eye open, right? See, she gets her news from TikTok. She doesn't watch TV either, so. 
You don't have to watch TV to get news. Huh? You don't have to watch TV to get news. Matter of no, fact, I can wait till every, every, I wait for every Saturday show. night and you guys can tell me, the chat can tell me what happened. All right, next week we'll tell you about the Civil War that started. <laughs> uh, see, uh, yeah, it's just depressing crap all the time, Jay. I agree with you. Rob, bad ideas wanting to know if you were in purple boxers when you got up. I am. No, they're purple uh, shorts, but they're not boxers. Oh, you probably already, you're probably already to those lounging around in your swim, swim trunk days, aren't you? I am. Paula says we're at 91, guys. Charlie? Yeah. Holy crap. Gosh, bridge, Charlie. That happened How about could a week they ago. not see the bridge? That doesn't make no sense. They, uh, the ship lost power and drifted into it. Oh, okay. I can see that happening. But after the, uh, after the bridge we had yeah, down here, the Discovery Bridge got hit by a freighter and, and knocked the bridge down and took a bus with it and, and well, took like 20 cars with it. Uh, they put up barriers around the, the post now that if a ship approaches it, it'll hit the barrier and bounce off and it won't hit one of the supports. They never upgraded that on the key bridge. Mystics or, or it was hacked. Yeah. There's always going to be conspiracy theorists. <laughs> Stick says that. I know. I was reading that right now. What? My purple shorts. <laughs> no, I was reading Dennis's. I was reading Dennis's too. Uh oh. I don't know what to say. I don't have an answer for that. Hey, you. Uh, I've talked to Tommy. He's doing all right. Yeah, seems pretty good. Joe she says may. a lot of car on the bridges. She may have a. Uh, she may have one for sale, uh, Jim Steele. What's that? No, Jim. She does not. I know, I've heard she had a dais for sale, but it came with a broken manicure. That would be... <laughs> it sounds like a couple of pinpointers just got through on the deal, too. <laughs> You still got that ultimate list for the race there? There's Mr. Brad Hayden. How you doing, Rocky Mountain? Hello, Brad. Yes, I do actually, Charlie. Uh... I'm setting it up. And we are going to, uh, I'm going to. Go full screen. We are going to do that coin scope in a little bit, but I'm going to show you this. Show you guys this from our buddy Emil. Why is it not working? Let me see. All right. So this is one bag at Emil from Digging It Detectors. And Digging It Detectors right on the bag itself Very is nice. given away tonight. Nice finds pouch. And inside the pouch, gloves. Uh, a coil cable, coil cable cover from uh, Anderson's. That's pretty neat. Oh, I want one of them. Yep. And Rob. Uh oh. I must have thought, I'll show you the other one. Hold on. There's something else. For your pinpointer, a mount that you could put it on your detector. Oh, those are cool. That, that's pretty neat. So we got two of those to give away tonight. And we'll do the coin scope or here as well tonight. And there's some... Oh, where are they? Yeah, what a... 
Did I not bring him back? All right, Charlie. I've added. Uh, I've added Jade on play. Awesome. Who else do I need to add tonight. Um. You got Mr. Mark Thomas in there. M well, Mark should be on the list from the other stuff, right? Yep. Also, the some digging it detector stickers. So nice little bags. Well, since the bag's Appreciate already so in your much. possession, does that mean it comes with the digging it back sticker too? I guess yes. I could throw some of those in there as well. Be nice for somebody on the internet to have one of those stickers. You, you sound bitter there, pal. I sound. <laughs> now you sound good. <laughs> He doesn't count anything at all, Charlie. It's like you're trying to make me out for a hater or something. I'm not a hater. I just hate a lot. <laughs> it's like what they used to say about uh, who what was, what was what was the football coach. He's not prejudiced. He hates everybody. That's right. You can't be prejudiced that way. All right, guys, if you're new and you haven't been here in, in a little bit or ever, let us know. Yep. There was a couple of new ones because I got wrenches. <laughs> Dennis. I know, I saw that. <laughs> Does that fine bag come with broken glass in the ring or two? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> you got to start sending that out with all your gifts. Just get a little Just bit of broken shards glass. of glass, huh? No, no. I can see that you would have everybody sign a petition and then say we have evidence. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a chance for one tonight, Dan. No, oh, Lord, I don't even know how people have driving license, driver's licenses. And the only reason I can think of that my vehicle is still on the road is because I'm a fantastic driver to avoid them. Yeah, well, let me tell you, Zach, it took every bit of effort I had in the three seconds before she hit me head on to turn the wheel. And I was on the phone with Charlie. Charlie yep. heard me scream. He heard the collision. And it took everything I had to keep that from being head on to where she just ripped off the whole side of my truck. But... That was still the hardest collision I've ever been in in my life. You see, I talk. I talk to a couple of people when I'm going on my when I'm going on my runs because some of my drives are an hour, hour and a half one way. So I talk. So I talk to people so they get to hear a bit of my uh, road road attitude. Answer. All right, Charlie. I added uh, I added Jay. Don't play, and I added uh, Northern Found. Northern Found. What's happening? Northern Found's been here before, though. But, they, yeah. they, but apparently not since we did the list. So Okay, in, awesome. Thank you so much. Now. <laughs> William E. <laughs> uh, what's up, Bubba? James Iron Antler, what's happening, Beard? Pat, hey, past the present. How you doing, Bubba? Hey, Chris, what's up, bro? Hi, past and present. Wasn't too bad, Cole. What's up? I lost out on the morning because I had to take my daughter dress shopping, but uh, I got a couple done after that. Are you answering Culver's question? Yeah. Mr. Buddy Biggs. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the awesome shout-out, bro. All right, we got Culver in there, too. Perfect. Culver's a great guy. Anybody wants to buy gold, pay dirt. What's up, Sean? Brockton, hello. Mr. Brockton's already in there. Yeah. yeah. Sheldon, let's see what's happening, brother. 
I found a, new, a few coins between the new, the snowstorms today. I don't know how you guys get out there and do that, bro. I, I agree with Charlie. I might be able to do it if it was in the 50s and I was all bundled up, but I'm not doing it when it's below below freezing. 50s, yeah, I can do the 50s, but when it hits like 38 and 35, I am like done. You see, it's got to be bad for the for the northern or high altitude guys when they're on this stream because they're watching people from the best uh, climates in America, Florida and California. <laughs> Culver just said he got hit with a bunch of snow yesterday. Uh huh. I think, I think it was Mark or no Wallace said they had like 14 inches of snow yesterday. Yeah. Sheldon says it's 35 right now. Good night. Culver says 25 right now. Wallace is letting everybody know if you want to do a sticker swap, their game. It's eight o'clock at night. It's still fifty-eight degrees here. My door is open. Yeah, it's nice here right now. All righty, Charlie. All righty, guys. This is gonna go for the first bag, and I think you, everybody was here for that. Two hundred and fifty-one names, Charlie. Yeah. Hello, buddy, Biggs. All righty, we're going for what now, Charlie? The, the fines pouch and the good stuff? Charlie? I can't hear you. Can you Zach, say that? Charlie? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Zach. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I hit the the bar on my microphone thing or something. All right. Let me know when you're ready, Mr. Charlie. Let's do it to it. Tom Kinger, he says we are at 100 likes, you guys. Boom. Awesome. 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 Eight, Thank you all so much. Here. All righty, folks. Three, two, one. Yeah, Sticky, we got you in there, brother. How you doing tonight, my friend? Stick man's definitely in there. Yep. MD Melbourne says if he wins, he'll pay for the shipping. Boom. I got you covered there, Jim. You're awesome, my friend. So don't worry about it. He says that now until he gets the post office and sees Yeah, yeah if he gets the post office, it's $47 for shipping to Australia. Yeah, it is what it is sometimes. I just worry about stuff getting there because, like, Canada, when I send stuff out there, it, like, takes forever. And then I'm always wondering if they got it or not. I, I think it's actually more expensive to Canada than it is to other parts of the world. I think you're right. I, I think it would be more to ship that to Canada than it would be to the gym in Australia. Yeah. One of our gold guys got a flat rate box to Canada. It was, like, 18 bucks, but he, he just shipped a flat rate box and it went right through. Really? really? That's probably the way to do it. Look at that. Nice duck for William E. We got the the British uh, tall bobby hat or the, the British military hat on. Unfortunately, he's out too soon. Yes. Bye, William. <laughs> here come, oh, here comes Slob. Here comes Shane. Uh, Shane. He Bye, he Shane. He ain't, he ain't staying. <laughs> nope. Just like one of his comments on your stream, Rob, you won't see him in a minute. That's right. Who's it going to be? Okay, got 30 seconds coming up. You did, William. Yeah, Shannon. Jim, oh, board is the, I want to oh, board is Little Mermaid. Okay, second chance stacks. Bart, oh, here comes the 18-second fade back. Who's going to be? Gold sniping farmers. Oh, here comes Gary Smith out there with uh, Busby. Ouch, oh, man. Both 
Here comes Bill Brasky the Clown. Bill Brasky? Or is it going to be AZ Hunting? I haven't Boom, seen AZ. Boom, AZ the Hunting duo. I haven't seen AZ. All right, if you're in the top five, let us know we're here, you're here so we can start working down the list. Mandy says, I was going to send four marbles, three coins, and a few small pieces, and they wanted $96. For what, That's Canada? Insane. Yep, Canada. Damn. Okay, we got... <laughs> Scott... <laughs> You nut. <laughs> I don't That's, know what you're talking about. Is that what you were talking about? You you shipped out to him last week as a constellation? No. <laughs> All right. We, we do have Bill Brasky here, but we're looking for AZ Treasure Hunters and Gary no, Smith. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen Gary Smith guys. or Darren Gray either. No. Nope. Yamil is saying congratulations. All right, Gary's not taggable and Darren's not taggable. How about AZ? AZ is not taggable. But Mr. Bill Brasky's here with a wrench. Bill's here. Mr. Bill Brasky. We're going to call it. Let's do it. Bill, congratulations. Bill, and sir. congratulations. Congrats, Bill. And thank you, Yamil, from Digging at Detectors for hooking us up with this. Bill, that's a prize you can use, right? Bill, let me know if you want that or a gift card. That was for the for the first of the fines bags or the coin hunter? That was for the fines bag. Fines bag. Yeah, Stickman, that's about right. I just sent a baseball hat to Canada, and it cost me $32. Oh, hold on, Bill. I'll, sh I'll show you again, buddy. Our friends are detecting, digging the detector warehouse. No, digging it, not detector warehouse, Charlie. Oh, digging the detector. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm mixing the two together there. Uh, solo layout. Real quick. Sorry about that, Yamil. But anyways, Yamil and his wife, Leilani, uh, digging the detectors, is sending you, well, I'm going to send it on their behalf, a fines bag. And within that fines bag... Jim, it is almost cheaper to deliver it yourself by hand. You got a coil cable cover. I know you can't see it with this stupid light, but... Anderson's coil cable cover. Um, I know, gloves. and a pin pointer holder that you can actually put and mount onto your metal detector. And we'll throw in some stickers and we'll include theirs. Digging the detectors out of Coca, Florida. Thank you guys so much. That's what it is there. Bill, um, you let us know if that works for you or if you would like a gift card instead. All up to you, brother. I know some people don't dig, but. It is good stuff. Yeah, that's really nice. And we got one more of those setups to give out tonight. And. The coin scope. And a half dollar. Boom! And a half dollar? Is it a silver half dollar? Or is it a half dollar? Yes, of course it's a silver half dollar. Boom! And some silver. You ain't giving away any clad here. There you go. All right, Bill, hit me up. And I just put up the website for Digging It Detectors. They donated these prizes. Go check them out if you guys need anything. I'm sure it'll be greatly appreciated. Jackson, you the man, sir. Thank you so much. You want to pin that for a minute, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, oh, I got to go on this side, right? I know, Scott. 
So you're saying I have a chance. There we go. Thank you, Zach, for hooking them up. Hey, Scott. No, you know, thank you. Thank you, guys. Anything can happen. Anything can happen, Scott. Rob actually predicted that he was going to be absolutely dead last on a race last week, and he was correct. And it wasn't even it wasn't even DAL the win race. It, it was wasn't. Just, oh, <laughs> so Rob can't Rob even know. Right. John, thank you so much, my friend. John Ranch hooked this up. Uh how, how, I'm gonna say this really polite, Jim. Yes, I did, and I offered that to the people, but they didn't respond to the email. So since uh, they won the hat and I was obligated to send them the hat and they didn't respond to my email for a gift card, I felt uh, I felt obligated to send them the hat. So I ate the shipping. Some of you nice folks have sent me money for shipping. So and that has helped them and that did help cover some of that cost. But they won the hat. They didn't respond to my email about taking an Amazon gift card. So I sent the hat. But in the future, just like Charlie says, we will be doing gift cards either to the location that they can buy the item or a gift card for the item or just an Amazon gift card. Yeah. And I've learned that. I know other channels have done it before, uh, Shane from Ohio River History. But when Shane does giveaways, he's, he's been doing gift cards now for a couple of years, guys, the Amazon <laughs> gift cards. And I won one of his giveaways once. I won a basketball tournament. Uh, he did uh, uh, the brackets for the NCAA tournament that's going on this year. Last year, I won that tournament and it was a $25 Amazon gift card and it was in my account in in two minutes. So this makes it so much easier when it's yeah Jim that's exactly the way to go. But yeah. I I I felt obligated to send it Jim so I did. And I know there's a few people waiting for, for prizes for me. And now that we've now that we've got the box in from it's sitting right over there on the floor. There is two boxes there. Um, we will be getting prizes out Monday because Monday I generally don't go detecting because I'm usually trying to get organized for Monday digs. Boom! William E. Charlie. What's that? No way, William. Thank you, bud. Very nice, William. Wow. That is awesome of you guys. Thank you so much. Hello, Wrench. You know, Wrench. And Charlie, what I was saying before, when you got, uh, when you were, we were all joking around in the beginning and you were cutting Zach and I off. Uh, my guy at uh, my channel sponsor contacted me this week and, uh, and uh, he says for either the 2500 or the 3000 sub giveaway, mm -hmm. he's offering a uh, Garrett Carrot. That's sweet. Very nice. Awesome. 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 So I told him probably in May we would be doing the 3000 sub giveaway. So, folks, more prizes coming for you, good people. Bum, bum, bum. That's right. That's exactly right, Dennis. The winner could not say they didn't, didn't get it. Because if you send it to the email, they got it. You can't say, well, I, I never got that in the mail. Or, I, I literally had one prize person tell me they got their package and it was empty. And uh, Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Were they gooeys? No, they were not. It was a, it was a, it was a regular prize. It wasn't gooeys. Oh, they were it was gooeys. It was just crumbs. There were another wow. Chris, Chris, 7.5 miles. He looked at his watch. He walked at the event. No wonder you got so many. Um, I imagine can, there's yeah, got to be a way. Send a, uh, yes, Scott, you can send a uh, MasterCard, Visa, or American Express gift card that's that's usable anywhere any of those credit cards are used. Absolutely. It, and you can do it electronic? No. Like no, that's, a, that's an actual gift card. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Mike. <laughs> <They're Melbourne. laughs> oh, we can, boy. You can raffle off these purple shorts if you want, Mike. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Take care, right. Jim. I'll cover we'll the shipping. You later, Jim. 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 Thank you for being by, bub. Just put the wrong address, return address on it and send them to him to where he doesn't know what's coming and he just opens the box. William E's going to go at Metal Detective for the first time tomorrow. Nice, William. Oh, William, congratulations, sir. Yeah. I, I hope you have a good time, buddy. Yeah. Don't I hope you find scared. something pretty common like a V nickel or something like that and, and just have oh, a break. Oh, that would just, yeah, I bet you, you, you really oh, do hope that happens. There you go, Charlie. Bill says you can. They sell e cards from MasterCard and Visa. Oh, well, that's Bill. the way to go. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Vernon. Charlie, another 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 super chat. What? There you go. Coming out swinging such one. No way, Vernon. Come on. Very nice. Wow. William, let me tell you this. I was I was excited Thank with my you, first Vernon. find. First find I ever found. I was excited with the first coin I ever found, which was a clad dime. And then you get excited with your first weedy. You get excited with your first silver coin. You get excited with your first IHP. There's so many things to get excited about, William. It's just a great hobby. Oh, yeah. And then Rob learned about beach detecting where he could get away with girl watching because he just swung his detector over in that direction. That's right. I'm just looking at the ground. Look at yeah, the, the camera somehow accidentally goes that way. Footage gets reviewed and edited for later. My, my, my chest mount camera broke, Zach, so i got to get it fixed because it's a lot less intrusive when you walk by and it's just on the – because you because it doesn't look like you're taking the camera and, like, going like that to them. So if you just yeah, walk by and it's, ca it's mounted. But when you're standing and you're walking through a crowd of, of women like this and you're going like this and you're – yeah, it, it, it's a little more intrusive. And I'm sure a lot of thought went into the chest mount, right? You just the correct the correct <laughs> height. Right. Get that right, the right height. That's right. Uh, you wouldn't want to wouldn't want to show any un, undesired faces on there. Nothing like that. Stick man, that's that's possible because meteorites do have uh, real meteorites have metal in them. Right on, Bill. Hey, look, Charlie Dow woke up. I know. I, yeah. Hi, honey. She didn't wake up. She's been here. She's just letting them know that she's still gathering information. Oh, uh, Marty says I I got excited. I found the three Mary Widows ten. I I have I've got two tops and one Marty, but I have not found a complete one. Uh, that is such a great find. A three Mary's Widow ten is such a great find. Yeah. I do, Gregory. One of these days, I'm gonna find one. Yes, Mike. A chest mount is much less pervy. No, Shannon, it did not. <laughs> if a tree falls in the forest, eh? That's right. It, it doesn't make any noise. That's nobody's there to hear it. That's exactly right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Charlie. It's eleven thirteen already. Let's go ahead and run this for the. Uh, let's run fun for the silver half. Let's do it, bud. Appreciate you. Nice, will you mean? Dow, did you see that coin spill he found in the parking lot he was in? That was a good one out in Cali. Whatever. That wasn't hey, Zach. a parking lot. Hey, Zach? Yeah. If I win my own coin race here, I'm leaving the stream and going out and getting one of that $1 billion lottery tickets, okay? So you're going to be here all night? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. This is for a 40% Kennedy half dollar. Nice and shiny, almost uncirculated. Three, two, one. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Carrie, what is up, bud? He does, Gregory. Abnormally so, but he does. That, that means a lot to me when she brings me a cup of coffee because it doesn't happen. Yeah, Wrench, 252 names. What we do now, Wrench, is we combine Charlie's stream and my stream, and anybody that's come into them on a regular basis, they get their name put in, and this way we're not building any races. We're not wasting time, um, but you have to be here. So, yeah, it makes it for less number one winners, but we get more races and we give away more prizes, and we don't forget anybody this way. 
Because also, folks, you got to oh, remember, Charlie's day. stream and Rob's stream are not paid duck races. These are 100% free that they put on as a thank you to you guys. Yes. Big thank you to everybody. Thank so you, Jack. Makes yes, it easier. Exactly right. makes it easier. And we could do that, folks, because all you people out there are incredible with all these great super chats. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie and I have also gotten donations offline, and we like to thank those people. They've asked not to be, but we, yeah. we thank those people. And then also Charlie's supplier here, Digging at Detectors, that uh, has been a great sponsor for Charlie. And my guy, John, at Detector Warehouse, uh, they've really helped out, guys. And they're, they're taking two smaller channels and helping them grow. That silver assassin, how's it going? Wow, Shannon oh, says no. tax on that. Did you guys read that one? At, no. At what you would get, what you would get, you would get two eighty two. If you decide to take a cash payout at one time, you get half. So half would be five point six million, um, or five hundred point six million, and then the taxes would take about forty percent of that. So you get around three hundred and twenty million. Yeah, that's if you took the cash payout. But you know what? For that big of money, you could take that over 20 years and you're still getting like $30 million a year. I, Charlie, as, as a middle class guy, I, I couldn't, I didn't know, I wouldn't know how to spend that kind of money. I can find ways. I, <laughs> all right, guys, we've got 10 seconds to go. That would probably up, be a he's up there for his first time. Oh, come on, come on. Is it going to be Bert? Oh, John? John Alderman. John has been there then. tonight. We're going down the list. I haven't seen John tonight. Lance you're was here. Top, when you're here, comment just in case. I haven't seen Beep. Lance was here. Lance was here earlier. Bert is here. Bert's here. Yeah. Yeah. So All right, Lance, if you're here, you need to pop on, Lance. We're looking for John. Clurry, man, it's salty. Eighth place, suck it, Kiri. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. There's Lance. There's Lance. Lance is here, oh, Rob. Lance is here. No John, no beat. Not. I'm thinking Lance got that one. And Torchy wants to know who was Danielle last. Wants, yeah, Danielle wants to know who was last. All right, hang on. Let me make sure I get Lance's info here. Lance, email Rob at flthundered at me.com. And Tom, Lance, uh, Scott was just playing with you, buddy. He's a little salty tonight, he says. All righty, let's see who... Uh... The DAL. Well, I haven't seen that FL Thunder guy yet. That's how this last one started when you got That's it. right. You called it right. Good night. That's a long list, bud. It's better than typing half of them every night. You are absolutely right. Oh, it was almost Charlie. Oh, you still got Lucky a ways duck. down. Lucky duck, Lucky duck. I don't think they're here tonight. No. Nope. And then Dennis was second to last, right? KCMD? Yep. Yeah. Dennis was 250th. John oh, says, yeah. just remember, it's always rigged. That's right. That's right, Swifty. Scott is a leader and probably fighting a fight we don't understand. Good evening, uh <laughs> KCMD. Damn, almost fast. <laughs> One thirty-four. Let's go with that other bag, courtesy of Digging at Detectors. Yamil, Leilani, thank you guys so much again. 
You guys are awesome. We doing another bag, Charlie? Yeah, we got two. They sent us oh, two. Look at that. We're just we're just uh We're on a move there, sir. Shuffle one, shuffle two, shuffle three, and three, two, one. And Yamil and Leilani's, uh, they're a young couple. And I think they've had their shop for about two years now, so fairly new. We've got had the pleasure of meeting them at. Yep, we got to meet them at FH10. Super yep, nice and couple. Mine. Yeah, very nice, very nice people. FH10. Well, I saw them the year before, prior to that, too, FH9. Oh, you did? Okay, I did not see yeah. them that year. Yeah. That was our first event there, I think, for the FH event. And their link, their link for their website is on the top of the page. Yep. Thank you very much, Saxon. Looks like they got some pretty good out. right now. Super nice couple. You can get a Knox 600 for 500 bucks over there right now with headphones. That's a pretty good deal. That's a phenomenal deal. Yeah. My, my lab's been doing some great deals lately. Yeah, they got the uh, Scott, Beth will be in the race for sure, yeah. She's been got the full, full 900 kit on sale for 11.49 right now. Not bad. Sticky says I am winning this one. Well, you know that uh, all that talk Zach, before the beginning of the year about supposedly Mind Lab and uh, and Deus raising the prices of those two premium machines, the Manicore and the Deus too. You know, yeah. that not only did that not happen, but those prices are coming down a little bit. I never was buying that. I, I didn't see how they could do that in the middle of this 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 climate right now either. Well, it's, that's just not how business works. They don't raise forty percent overnight. The that's so horrible for customer morale. Yeah. Jamil says you guys keep an eye out. There's more sales coming soon. All righty. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, the 18 second fade. Cindy Murphy's up there as the Trump duck. Karen Cornett's up there as a little bumblebee. Here comes D. O'Brien. Miss Michigan with Lisa. Show me stackers up there with Deb Melvin. Here comes Show me stacker. Look at this as the Cheney duck. Boom. <laughs> I don't think Cheney should be dressed up as a duck. Uh, yeah, it, not with the hunting incident, okay? It, it, no. Just like Cheney. Stacker's not here. He was shot. Or shot at someone. <laughs> Lisa's not here. Jim Steele's here. We know that. Yeah. Jim was here. I haven't seen Lisa tonight. Oh, wait. Who's that? Show Me Stacker is here. Show Me Stacker, are you here? Yeah, he posted right here. Oh, there you awesome. go. Show Me Stacker. Do you want the yeah. coins back or do you oh, want something like else? Tonight. Boom. You won the bag there, sir. Does that work for you, or do you want a gift card? He says, awesome. Yeah, we see you, Stacker. He's here. Oh, there you go. Marty V says, Yamil. Oh, I had it. Jim Steele says, I'm here, too, in case nobody else is. Yeah, we know Jim's here. Yeah, damn, Jim. Show me, show me, Stacker. Do you want the metal detecting swag, or do you want to send you a gift card or something? Gift, gift card. card, please. All right. So, show me, Stacker's getting a gift card, so we can run that race again, there, Rob. Show me, Stacker. Right. Email Charlie at j dot r digging it back at gmail dot com. Yes, sir. All right. You want to run it again? Let's do it. Three and a two and a one. Good luck, good luck, good luck. That's right, Tom. You got it, Bubba. Tony, you never want a star note from me. I've given away quite a few star notes. 
don't know. Who was asking you that? Well, Tanya said she'd never gotten a start before. She must have won one from somebody. What? Of course, I'm behind on the chat, so I don't know what the hell's going on. So, yeah, you blink in the scene and you're gone. You got that right, Charlie. Mr. Bart Cubbins, good evening, sir. Good evening, Bart. Moon says, come on, duck. I haven't seen Minardo all night. Did somebody put that guy in. He's on screen. Well, if Minardo was adding the names, he pro pro probably forgot to put Minardo in. He's done that before. That would be a Minardo move. Because he's such a Minardo. That's right, Charlie. <laughs> Out, Scott. Bart Cummins, you won two times tonight, but you had to be present to win. <laughs> How rich is that coming from Scott? Boy, he is salty, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, good group here. You don't know what to say, Scott. <laughs> you're a good guy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're taking it well, Scott. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, have her go to um, have her type in Starnote lookup, and it'll give you a website. You punch in the serial number, and it'll tell you if it's a low uh, a low printing or not. Jeremy, hey Maddie, how you doing tonight? No, is it Team Lynch or is it going to be detecting fines? Boom, detecting fines. Detecting fines tonight. Maddie's Maddie. here. How you doing, Maddie? Hi, Maddie. Neil says, Rob ate my duck for dinner. Detecting fines are here. I, I, I would try duck. Lynch, are you here? Yeah, I haven't seen Team Lynch tonight. No. They're usually here, but I haven't seen them tonight. I haven't I think, seen fines either. I think Rock Butcher is one of the ones. I might be the one that won that Xterra. I'm, I can't remember. I got to go back and look. But I got to get those out Monday. It was. It was him, right? Yeah. Chilling the Grilling Adventure. Dan B was here earlier. So was Brockton. I think Brockton's Brock still here. There he's there's chilling the girl. Here. Dan Dan's here. I thought I thought Don Relic Reaper might get this one. No, oh, Relic Reaper's in six. Uh, Rock Butcher's not here. Team Lynch, yeah. none of us have seen him. And but chill him with Dan B. Chill him with Dan, Dan B. B for the win. Dan, you Dan just B won. You're gonna win. Dan. You know the drill, bud. Hit me up so I can get that sent out to you. You want a fines bag with some swag in it? Courtesy uh, from Neil and Leilani from Digging It Detectors, my friend. Park 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 there. Hello, Pat. Hey, Mr. Pat. Howdy, Terry Curry. Good evening. What you guys see, Pat? Oh, there he is, Park Rep Pat. My duck is running like he's trying to hold in. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, well, we need to go to the dog races, Pat. My mom would watch, and if one of the if one of the dogs took a dump on the side of the track, my mother always went and bent him down because she figured he could run faster. Was she right? Oh, Charlie, I do see one name I may not have in there, and that is Terry Curry. I'm going to check to see if they're in, and if not, I will put them in. Sounds good, my friend. Thank you so much. Because since they have a wrench, that means they've been here before. I think I wrenched them tonight. Wow, William. Did you guys see Williams? Please change my name to Scott. I will be here. <laughs> Ouch. Wow, that's cold. Ouch. Poor Scott. Yeah, not once last week, William, but twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Terry got you in now. Deb Melvin, yeah, I will double name. check. Unfortunately, Deb I did. Melvin, I will yeah. double check for your name too, Deb. But I'm 99% sure it's in there, Deb. They are great gifts, Dennis. Emil really hooked us up. I think those are cool packs. Deb Melvin, there's your name right there in the middle of the screen. There you go. Pat, Mr. Scott McClure is asking you a question there, sir. Dang. William E. won on my channel four times, almost in a row. Wow. Wow. Zed, <laughs> can you take my name? I might have a better chance of winning. <laughs> Oh, boy. No, while well, I'd say it's about time to roast your duck. So, Maddie, where's Johnny at tonight? <laughs> Scott's flaming you, pal. <laughs> Did you read that? I didn't lose one minute of sleep, okay? <laughs> Scott. <laughs> oh. he, did, he, he, did, he did say he was going to be on the road that day because he yeah, asked if we were doing it. you be giving you a thick ulcer by now. <laughs> and Denise and her dad oh, were at church and back before I even got up, Charlie. They, All went right, sunrise, buddy. they went to sunrise service. Oh, yeah? Oh, boy. Stickman, I won twice in a row. I won two races in a row on Rob, mainly Dirt Fishing's channel. Won back-to-back -back metal detectors, but since I already have three, I just accepted the, the uh, kids one, and then I gave that away to uh, a really nice kid whose parents let me uh, metal detect the 1920s house. Uh I found my first bugle mouthpiece there. Wanted to give it to him because he wanted to take it to his his Cub Scout meeting, but uh, so I gave him the kids detector. So that is awesome. It was very nice of you. That was very nice of you. Yeah. There's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Johnny, brother. Oh, well, Charlie. Whenever the tip gets. Uh, Whenever this hips gets better, I have. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna finish your story until I remember the name. Oh wait, we're waiting for you to remember. I'll be back in about yeah. minutes, guys. Yeah, continue on with your conversation. Uh, Maddie and Johnny had to put down one of their pets today. That's that's always got to be terrible. It's horrible, Charlie. Appreciate you, Johnny. Well, let's do it, guys. It's one. Uh, we've been on almost two hours already. Man, that went fast. As always, so much fun to hang out with you guys. And I want to thank everybody for the super chats. I wasn't expecting that to pop up like that fast, but thank you guys again. That definitely helps out with the shipping and whatever's left over with that will always be used for more of these races. So thank you guys again. And uh, Yamil Leilani from Digging It Detectors, thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank and you, sir, man. It's so much fun to work with you guys on this stuff. So thank you again. Um, so this last race, guys, will be for that JP raid that we did. So let's give away that coin scope. All right, hang on. Give me a second. Nice. I got to put myself in. I got to put myself in again. Hold on. Again? 
Yeah. Well, how many rounds? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to go in under Minardo, and then I got to go in under FL Thunder. So, Mark C, you're too much, my friend. Another five bucks. Awesome. Very Thank nice, you so Mark. much, Mark. Howdy, Jill. Good evening, Jill. Hi, Jill. Thomas 907, let's go. Let's do it. Let's roll. All righty, guys, we just shuffled them three times. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And if you guys want to see that thing, uh, Buddy Biggs uh, just did a shout-out video. He got his in, and he did a, a little video with it. Yep, we did a short, guys. And it, it, that thing works great. I'm at the buy myself one. It is freaking awesome. <laughs> Does it have a little thing on them to help hold the coins in place so they don't move while you're looking at it? Actually, I think it does. I think it has a thing you put the coin into, and then you can close it around the coin. Yeah, that, something like that. That would work for you, Charlie. Finally keep those things in place where you know where they are. Oh, my God. You look, look, Zach. If you... Sticky says, if he wins, I give it to Zaxxon. Oh, so, I'll forward that to someone else. No, we're not doing that. That ain't happening. No, yeah, no, I, well, have, I have no time for him. I, I, I would give that that if, if, if Sticky wins, I'm sending Zaxxon a rock. <laughs> a rock? rock. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Charlie Brown, I got rocks. Uh -huh. oh, wait a minute. Uh, rocks? Now we're talking a little more of my style. <laughs> not those kind of rocks, pal. Well, I'm, I'm I'm open to any kind of interpretation of rocks. Could be, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I, um, that's, yeah. <laughs> I spelled Northern Sound wrong. I'm gonna have to correct that. Charlie, that's a nice logo they got, and it also reminds me of your your logo. And yeah, when I saw that, that that like kind of drew me in over there. The DID. <laughs> It's DID on DID. That's right. There you go. Cass put up the link for that. You guys go check that thing out. It's a, it's All right, guys, these are the same ducks we'll be using for the race tomorrow. So if you, a few few new people here, if you're not familiar, we'll be over on my channel tomorrow, FL Thunder. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we'll, be doing the, we'll be using the same group, and we'll be doing some more duck races tomorrow. Absolutely. Free duck races. Free duck races, Absolutely. And you know what they say, if it's for free, it's for me. That's All true. Right, guys. Oh, Sherry Lynn Martin was coming up there a second. Jay Paul, Leanne Crawford, Leanne. 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 Here comes Leanne. Leanne. Look Leanne. at that. Boom. Leanne, are you still here? Way to go, Leanne. Tom Kingery, I'll use Jim Steele thinking I'd never win. There she is right there. Boom. Yep, there she Boom, is. Boom, Leanne. You won before Leanne. Leanne, so you know what to do. That was awesome. A fun show, Charlie. I'm sorry. I said that was a fun show. It was a great show. Yeah, I, I mean, God, it flies by so fast. The chat is just awesome. They're all having a good time. You guys make it I don't, hilarious. I don't, I don't think Charlie, if, if the chat didn't interact with us as much as this, I don't think it would go by this fast. No, they, I've, they, been on, I've been on chats where it was just the three hosts talking to each other and ignoring the chat, and it was the most boring thing in the world. Yeah. I mean, if, if I want that, I'll go listen to a podcast because I always wonder what the difference between was between a live stream and a podcast. A podcast is just people up here talking, talking to an audience, and you can't interact with them. This is mm -hmm. this is way more fun. Oh, absolutely. Charlie PA is wanting a link for that scope. Yep, I will get that and copied and sent it to you over. Oh, sent it to you over. Sent to you there, Dan. Scott, what do you mean you stayed up for this? You didn't enough coke, you'd be up anyway. <laughs> Scott, if you wasn't here, you would have probably won four in a row, buddy. <laughs> Ouch, that's cold. That's just cold. Oh, man.
All righty, guys. The duck race will be all set up waiting for tomorrow. Awesome. And, again, thank you to everybody that donated to our races last week. That was super, super nice of you guys. Can't yeah, guys, you made, you made the, the 1,000 and 2,000 sub giveaways just a huge success last yeah, week. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Jacko, what's going on? Go Pan and Dutchie. And probably before the end of April, we're going to be doing the 2,500 sub giveaway on a Sunday stream. And then sometime in May, we'll be doing 3,000. And that is going to be a Garrett Carrot pinpoint. Wow. That'd be good. That'd be really good. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then for 4000 we're going to be giving away something we've never given away before. Bum, bum, bum! bum. It's going to be Frankie PD Sand Diggers just made it to say Frankie, hello. You came, you came really close tonight, Frankie. You were, I think, fifth or sixth, but somebody above you took the prize. Uh, we could tell him he was first, but he wasn't here. No, then he's, then he's go back and watch all the races looking for his oh, first place. That, that, that's what you tell Thank everybody. You, that way they show up next week. <laughs> Old Penny Dutchy Jocko showed up. Good evening, sir. Uh, thank you, oh, Sticky. Jack, Jack, it's late where Jocko is. He sets his alarm to be able to come in and say hi to a lot of these streams. Absolutely. Boom. Thanks, Greg. Thank you very much, Greg. Thanks, Stickman. Dan's got a 1,500 sub coming up, guys. Ooh, He's awesome. doing a giveaway. That'll be fun. I'll tell you, since I've been putting my shorts back on regularly, shorts videos. Uh, Thank you for clarifying. Yes. my uh, Well, I've been giving away these, so, you know, I could be naked right now. No. Um, Let's my, do uh, my sub count's just going up nice and steady, guys, so thank you very much. If you do the shorts regular, you will see the results. I'm telling you, if you guys want to know how to grow your channel, do shorts, and they don't have to be anything special. My my stuff with the trash and the stupid pieces of metal do better than my ring videos. I'm I'm telling you guys, just people just I mean, want to. You got a lot of people like me. If I watch your short, uh, somebody short two or three times, and I and I enjoyed it, I make sure I subscribe. There you, know? you go. Yep. Even if I'm not going to watch them a lot, if I see there's this a short from a person two or three times and I liked it, I subscribe. And that's there where you your go. shorts come from. There you go. I'm having my best month ever for, for, for picking up subs. I'm up 134 this month. Nice. Marty V is two away from 700, guys. There you go, guys. Come on, folks. There's got to be two of you here that haven't uh, haven't remembered to hit up Marty. Thank you there, Mr. Shannon. All right, let's call this thing. You all have a great night. We will catch you in the morning. Jackson, thank you again. Mr. Rob Bernardo, thank Thanks, you. Jack. Always a blast, Thank buddy. you, everybody in chat, for yeah. being here. And thank you guys for the super chats. That, that is awesome of you guys. And as always, it will always go back to you guys somehow. But uh, right, thank guys. you all again. See you, you all have a great weekend, and we will catch you in the morning. Boom. Bye,